Hi guys, my name is Natasha from My Funky Jams and I'm going to show you how to apply your gem bring hour wraps. First I'll show you using a hairdryer because we all have a hairdryer and it's totally cool using a hairdryer to apply your jam. Then I will show you our very, using a very funky little gem bring mini heater and you can just see the difference in the ease of application when you use the mini heater. But first we need to prep our nails. That is the most important thing when putting your jams on. So first you wash your hands with dishwashing liquid just to get all the natural oils off your nails. I've already done that. And then we need to push our cuticles back. Because if you don't push your cuticles back and you get wrap over the top of cuticles, they'll just start to lift at the base. And we don't want that because we want our jams to last ages. So just push all your cuticles back. Even that little bit of skin that comes up that's like invisible cuticle, get rid of that too. So push all your cuticles back. You can get, um, if you order a sample from me, you'll get an orange stick with that, or you can get everything you need for your application in this very cool Jamberry application kit. So push your cuticles back, um, just buff your nails just to get the shine off them, nothing too harsh. Um, then we want clean nails. So, um, Jamberry alcohol wipes, can you see that? Or just use normal rubbing alcohol, so just clean nails, get that sorted. Now base coat. I'm all about the base coat. This is a Jamberry strengthening base coat because I have rubbish nails. They're thin, they peel, and up until a month ago, I was a hardcore nail biter. So this is the longest my nails have been in a very long time so that is super exciting but base coat and also your wraps just did seem to adhere a lot better with a base coat under them so I highly recommend it strengthening base coat or we also have a smoothing base coat so check that out so my nails are, are all prepped I've got this one sunny lotus on and I have a few fingers that I want to get done with that so I'm doing Day of the Dead accent nails for this weekend, Dia de los Muertes. Terrible accent, but anyway, I'm really excited to put these wraps on. So here is wrap sheet. This is what they look like. All different sizes to match your nails. These ones, uh, pedicure, so toes. These ones are for your manicure, but it really depends on the size of your nails. I have pretty big nail beds, so this isn't my pinky. I cut this up and use this for my toenails. Um, you know, this might be your big, um, your thumb, or this might be your thumb. It just really depends. But you can get at least two manicures and two pedicures out of a wrap sheet, and you tend to be able to use the middle ones for just accent nails, and you can trim them up so to whatever size that you need. But the most important thing is that they're never bigger than your nail. You just want them slightly smaller so that they just are on the nail and they don't touch any of the skin. All right? All right, now to applying your jams. So pick the one that I think fits the most. And I think for this finger, it is this one right here. So I just lift it up using an orange stick. We can use tweezers whatever like whatever way feels most comfortable like that's you know that's the most important thing whatever works for you do it some people take the whole entire wrap off and then cut what they need at the end but this is what I do so you've got your wrap here now the um, official application method has you heating the wrap then putting it on but I like to do the reverse warm method Shout out to Booty and Jams. Thank you for that. Makes it a whole lot easier. So you apply it cold onto your nail and just at the end near your cuticle. That way if you need to reposition it, it's no big deal. It hasn't fully stuck there yet. So just get it on like that. And you can don't touch the wrap. Um, on any part that's going to stick to your nail. So you can just reposition it like that. Then you heat it. So this is with a hair dryer. I just blew everything off my table. <laughs> so heat it till it curls so you can see that. 
All right, then you just want to smooth it, smooth it down the middle, then smooth it down the sides, and then pull at the top. Now, a few of my customers have very curvy nails, and that makes it hard to apply, you know, um, it's like putting a sticker on a ball, like, it's really hard, it's going to pucker at the edges, but if you pull, you'll pull out, if there's any puckering at the side, you can just get that all out by pulling them. Give it another little heat. And I like my little cuticle, sorry, cuticle pusher to really get on there. So they're heat and pressure activated, so you need both heat and pressure. And if you notice, I am right-handed and I'm applying the jam onto my right hand. So way easier than trying to put nail polish in your right hand. You just gotta, it feels a little bit awkward to start with, but it's pretty damn easy. So we've also got Snappy bags are cool because you can put your finger in, get a really tight seal over the tips, and you can get more heat into it. So, oh, always use this method. Can you hear me? I always use that method just to get a good seal on my tips. So there's that one done, and I just let them cool before I start to trim them. So I'll just move on to my next one while that one's cooling. Alright, now we're going to do it using our Jamberry Mini here. So, chuck that on. I'm doing my pinky nail. Now, my most favourite thing is to do my nails while I'm watching Netflix with my husband. And I cannot do that with a hairdryer. I don't have babies anymore, but if you do have babies, you can do your nails when they are in bed, when your kids are asleep. It is like the quietest thing ever with this little mini heater, and it's on, and it can just leave it on, and it's no big deal. Alright, so, have my wrap. And just uh, other hand, just putting them on. So this is the way that I do it when I use the opposite hand. Just like that. Ta da Heat it up. It's just till it, can you see that? We just want it to curl like that. Curling, awesome. And then I just smooth down the middle, smooth to the sides. And pull, pull, pull. heat into there. Now I like to do one hand and then do my other hand and then go and trim them all up at the end so they're all nice and cool. Baggy. Get a nice seal on my tips. Can you see the hairdryer? All right, that one's all cool. And see again, that's my right hand. This is my applying onto my dominant hand. It's no big deal. All right, awesome. Now I can start trimming this one. Now you can either file off the edges in a downward motion but I prefer to trim them with nail clippers so you can get a nice super clean edge.
and you just shape them with the nail clippings. Mm. Then you're good. So that is with the mini heater. So you don't need it, but I much prefer it. It is very cool. Also, it has felt um, on the front so that if your kids come and touch the heater while it's on, they won't get burnt, which I think is very cool. All right, so that is how you apply your Jambo nails. Very easy, very cool, and it looks super awesome. It's not messy. You can do them before bed, which, which I love to do. I put the kids to bed, then I do my nails, I wake up, and they're perfect. But once you've done your nails, don't do anything like um, go swimming, have a shower, wash the dishes for a few hours. So if you're going to do it during the day, like what I just did, had a shower, everything's done, and I can do my nails and go out and have my day. And they're fine. So enjoy. Any questions, just ask me. All right? No worries. See you later.